Hi internet friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is an update video of my Lubai 2024. I'd like to show you things I bought in the past three months and I'd like to discuss with you about what makes us shopping necessarily, what's the psychological triggers behind the unnecessary shopping. Let's get started. This year in January and in February, I haven't bought anything. And in March, I bought five things. Do I need them? No. Do I love them? Yes. That's why I'd like to show you what I found. They are all second hand. I'm going to show you one by one and also talk through uh, what I was uh, feeling, I was thinking and uh, the my excuses to purchase these things and the psychological triggers. The first item I bought is this one. This is a tiny bag, micro bag from the German brand Gopfire. The psychological trigger, I would say, because it's rare and also because I want to collect. I'm a big fan of the German brand Gold Fire. I know the quality is amazing. This tiny bag, look, this uh, beautiful shape and handle and with a strap inside and the lining is uh, made of leather. I'm a collector of a gold fire bag, vintage gold fire. I have this one. I have this one, this epi leather, beautiful blue. I have this one, top handle, also leather. And I have a very um, rare clutch. Um, if I have a purple dress and I would like to wear this one because um, yellow and purple are complementary colors and I love purple. So after the first purchase, the following purchases happened so quickly. The second one is this vintage Escada mohair jacket found on eBay. The psychological trigger was, it's a good deal, I can't miss it. It's absolutely an impulse purchase. When I was scrolling on the phone and I saw on eBay an auction, this is an auction, it's nearly finished, and the price was £5.99. And come on, £5.99 for a, such a great high quality clothes. Received it and uh, it's such a great condition and it's a uh, fluffy and a brown and just what I would like to wear in autumn and winter time. If you are looking for a jacket with high quality um, but a reasonable price, I always recommend looking for second hand market. The vintage pieces I have found so many amazing pieces, uh, vintage jackets on the second-hand market. So, do I need more jackets? No. But if I find the beauty, I can't resist. So my third purchase of this year is again a jacket. It's a um, mohair faux fur jacket from the brand Peter Han. The purchase and the psychological trigger is it's a great deal. I can't miss it again. Yeah, this one is a um, combination of uh, mohair and um, alpaca. Bought on eBay and um, also with discount only in 23 pounds. Yeah, if it's new, it will be over 1,000 pounds, but 23, such amazing price. The fourth and the fifth item I bought in March, 
the similarity of them is um, the psychological trigger is curiosity. I found something new. This beautiful scarf was designed, the beautiful pattern was so attracted to me. And it's designed by Collier Compare. And before this item and before this eBay listing, I have never heard about uh, Collier Comper and I googled about it and I found wow that's a such interesting Python designer sisters they had um, nearly 50 60 years of uh, beautiful pattern designs so this pattern was designed in 1981 and the name is a uh, Himalaya stripe and um, I like the I like this design and I like the name you know Himalaya stripe Himalaya remind me of my uh, trip in the Tibet I think this skirt would be such a amazing piece in autumn time because it's like a autumn feeling this earthy color and um, I can choose one of these um, color as a top I can wear a black top or this um, red top or dark green top or a cream top any color or <clears throat> purple top will match in this skirt very well and uh, this skirt would also match in my fluffy mohair vest so good and with a pair of boots will be a nice autumn outfit nearly all these uh, five uh, purchases uh, happened in the evening when I felt after one day tired and um, I wanted to relax and uh, sitting on my bed and scrolling the phone on eBay and Depop and Vinted and then when I see them yeah that is before I see something, um, the psychological trigger made me scrolling the phone uh, normally tightness or stress. So when I see these beautiful things, the psychological trigger make me buy them. Uh, as I mentioned, they are, it's a good deal. I can't miss it. This thing is uh, very rare. I want to collect it. This thing is new to me. I want to learn about it. I want to feel it. Yeah, I want to feed my uh, curiosity. For my future low by year plan, um, I know there are so many beautiful things on the second hand vintage market. And I know I can't resist beautiful things, good quality stuff. That's why I only do low buy instead of no buy. I'm going to try to buy nothing in April. In order to do so, I need to reduce the time scrolling on the phone. So when in the evening, I will put my drawing book, get ready next to my bed. So it may help when I Mm, want to relax I instead of scrolling the phone and um, maybe I just listen to a podcast and uh, do some drawing 